most of the modern SWR meters are cross needle SWR meters which will show both forward and reflected power with two movements simultaneously along with SWR on another scale. In the SWR meter illustrated here, forward power is indicated by the black scale and reflected power by the blue scale. Multiplier for the power can be into 1, into 10 or into 100 depending on the position of the selector which is not shown here. SWR is indicated by the crossing point of the two movements by the red scale. Green arrow in the first picture indicates an SWR of about 1.2 is to 1 which is quite acceptable. Output forward power is seen as 0.5 which is actually 5 watts as the selector was at into 10. Reflected power is quite low with the needle near 0 much below the 0 0.05 watts. This indicates a matched antenna and feed line with the radio. Red arrow in the second picture indicates an SWR above 2 is to 1 but below 2.5 is to 1. The forward power is lower just above 4 watts. Reflected power is much higher than the previous at over 0 0.05 watts. This indicates a mismatch possibly because the antenna is not tuned to the operating frequency. Modern radios start cutting down the output power when the SWR goes above 2 is to 1 as a protective mechanism to prevent overheating and damage to the final RF power amplifier. High SWR can also cause heating and damage to the feed line. When high SWR is noted, either the antenna has to be retuned for the operating frequency as by adjusting a gamma match or by using an antenna tuner. The rear end of the SWR meter has only SO239 connectors. One can be connected to the antenna feeder cable. Rear end of my VHF radio also has an SO239 connector. To connect the radio to the SWR meter, I needed this patch cable with PL259 at both ends. My SWR meter will show the power and SWR even if its power cable is not connected. SWR meter needs power only for the LED displays. It is an analog cross needle SWR meter. Here you can see it in action without power supply. You may note that the LED indicator is not on. Still both forward and reflector power are shown as well as the SWR. Reflector power as well as the SWR is low indicating a matched antenna and feeder cable system. Connected my cross needle SWR meter to the SO239 connector of my FT710 radio with the patch cable. In fact there are two patch cables, one with PL259 at one end and SO239 at other end and 50 cm long, meant for protecting the SO239 on the radio and another one with PL259 at both ends which is 1 meter long for connecting the SWR meter. The SWR meter on my FT710 gives only the SWR while the cross needle SWR meter gives forward power and reflective power in addition to the SWR which is indicated by the point where the two needles cross each other. In FT710, there is an option to change the meter display to power instead of SWR, which I use occasionally. But I have not seen a way to check the reflected power. After tuning with automatic antenna tuner in FT710, the built-in SWR meter will show the tuned low SWR, while the external SWR meter will continue to show the elevated SWR in the feed line as can be seen very well in this short video clip taken during a test transmission. Now I am testing SWR on my zigzag linear loaded off center fed inverted V dipole 80 meter antenna which is under construction with low power in the radio. 
built-in SWR meter of the radio shows high SWR indication in red color and the needle is almost at the region of infinity. The crossing point of the needles in the cross needle SWR meter is also in the region of infinity. So it tallies with the measurement in the radio. Forward power noted in the black scale is around 5 watts. Reflected power in the blue scale seems to be beyond the maximum of 5 watts. So there is no chance of using this antenna at all in the current status. This test was on the lower end of 30 meter band and SWR is just above 3 in both meters. Both forward power and reflected power seems to be a bit above the range chosen. It was only later that I recognized that the option chosen in the SWR meter was peak envelope power or PEP and not the average power. Tested again in the middle of 30 meter amateur radio band and got similar results for SWR, forward power and reflected power. Similar results were obtained at the upper end of 30 meter band as well. After all, 30 meter band is a narrow band. This test is after tuning with the built-in automatic antenna tuner of FT710. You can see that the radio shows very good SWR of nearly 1, while the SWR meter shows the elevated SWR in the feed line. If it was a remote antenna tuner at the antenna feed point, then the SWR in the feed line would also have become 1. A remote antenna tuner is quite expensive and requires additional power supply line to the antenna feed point or a T bias power supply option through the feed line. Remote antenna tuners have to be weatherproof as well.